Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a 25 month update on the Red Sea Reefer 250. Okay, welcome back guys. So uh, the tank is uh, a uh, month older and uh, I've actually been neglecting this tank a little bit. I have this uh, big garden reno that I'm working on in the backyard and I've also set up the new Evo 13.5 gallon. Uh, so they've been keeping me busy. Uh, I, I'm still keeping up with my water changes and so on. Uh, the tank is fairly uh, stable. I've had uh, one, actually two issues with water chemistry. Uh, so I've had uh, several alkalinity swings over the past month. Uh, my alk has been uh, like a yo-yo from 9 to 7 to 9 to 7. It, it's, been pretty, uh, it's been pretty tough. Uh, so uh, uh, I think I know what the issue was. I've been trying to wean my tank off of Kalkwasser. Uh, so Kalkwasser, I, I dose Kalkwasser in my automatic top-off uh, reservoir, and I think it's a great way to maintain calcium and, alkali and alkalinity. Uh, but uh, ever since I switched uh, from uh, heating the house in the winter to cooling the house in the summer, uh, the rate of evaporation has uh, changed, and as a result, my uh, the, the calc that actually goes in the water uh, is uh, has changed. So uh, this has been making uh, uh, maintaining parameters uh, difficult to achieve because I just I can't really control evaporation rate and, and the temperature outside the house uh, very easily. So as a result, I've decided to kind of reduce the dose of Kalkwasser. I've been, I was running five tea, uh, teaspoons per uh, uh, five gallon ATO, so one, one teaspoon per gallon. And I've over the past uh, month or two, I've cut down this dose gradually to two teaspoons per five gallon ATO uh, for my five, uh, five gallon reservoir. Uh, and during this process, obviously I had to kind of compensate by uh, dosing more two part. And, and this kind of, uh, this balance of, of cutting on calc and upping the, uh, the two part has been part of the problem of trying to maintain uh, stable parameters. Uh, another problem is I went on a va uh, on vacation uh, about uh, three or four uh, weeks ago, and normally when I go on vacation, I double my two-part uh, dosing to compensate for uh, when when we go on vacation, the pH of the tank increases because we're not breathing carbon dioxide in the house, and the calcification rates of the corals increase, so that uh, the demand for uh, calcium and uh, alkalinity uh, change when I'm on vacation. Normally, I compensate for that by doubling my alk uh, dosing, but I forgot to do that. So that's another part of uh, why my alkalinity has been uh, uh, changing uh, very frequently this month. Uh, a third part is I've re I ran out of Red Sea Reefers Foundation buffer, and I've decided to give uh, uh, ESV uh, B ionic uh, two part solution a try. Uh, it's a little bit uh, cheaper than Red Sea and, and it comes pre mixed, uh, mostly pre mixed. You still have to add some water, but uh, most of the stuff is in solution. So uh, uh, I switched uh, about uh, a month and a half ago from Red Sea to uh, ESV, and again, that requires a little bit of adjustment because the concentration is not the same. So the fourth part of the, this alkalinity swing issue has been I actually forgot to uh, top off uh, my dosing container. So uh, I'm using the KMOR F4 wireless doser and there's, uh, there's a tab in there that actually keeps track of how much, uh, uh, how big your uh, dosing container is and how much you're actually uh, using. Uh, but it doesn't alert you to when you run out and, and I had forgot to do a water change one week because I was really busy. And I, uh, when I noticed, I opened up the cabinet and I noted that I had no more buffer left. So all four of these issues have contributed to a lack of stability in terms of alkalinity. Uh, but over the past week, uh, uh, things seem to kind of become to uh, to become more stable. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll stay that way. The other problem that I've been having with the tank uh, in terms of water chemistry is that over the past, let's say, three months, I've noted that my calcium was declining. So I measure and it seems like week by week I'm losing about five uh, PP, uh, uh, ppms of calcium. 
and I, I kept increasing the two-part dosing component of calcium to compensate, but the, uh, the levels kept declining and declining and declining, and I, I just didn't know what was happening. Uh, and then it's just by, ha it, by chance I, I had tested my water and in the middle of the test, I, I ran out of reagents. I used the sulfur calcium kits. Uh, so I uh, got my new, uh, new test kit out and I measured the calcium and my last measurement was 380. And when I tested it with the new kit, it was 475. So my calcium wasn't actually declining, it's just the kit was going bad or something. So uh, when, when I thought my, the old kit indicated that my calcium was declining, so I upped the dosage of my two part, but in reality, my calcium levels were fine and, uh, and I was actually increasing the calcium levels. So uh, 475 calcium is not that great, but, but, it's, uh, but it's kind of a little bit too high for uh, the alkalinity that I run. So I had to really like cut back on my calcium, uh, my calcium dosing uh, to balance things out. So now it's back to 420 and alkalinity is around uh, eight. So hopefully uh, from no, uh, now on, there's gonna be a little, uh, no changes and I'll, I'll just keep the levels that I'm dosing out right now and, and things will be uh, stable. Overall, the lack of stability hasn't really affected my corals much, most of my corals I'll say. Uh, there's three corals that seem to be having issues uh, in terms of kind of color and browning out. So my uh, Mayaji tort here has actually been looking pretty drab uh, and so is uh, my uh, uh, shockaholic this thing used to be kind of bright neon green uh, and now it's just brown uh, I did make one change in the tank so uh, if, if you notice that uh, uh, this is a sunset millifrag that I had uh, that I moved from right underneath this uh, this Cali tort and this thing uh, hasn't been growing in, like I've seen no growth in this frag over the past year that I had it so I thought it was due for a change in location so to move the sunset millie here, I actually had to remove uh, the pink millie colony that was uh, sitting in its place. And uh, I actually uh, uh, got rid of that colony. I, I gave it to another reefer. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully the water parameters are gonna uh, stay stable over the next month or so. And we'll uh, start seeing some uh, improvement in color in the tort and the shockaholic. All right, have a good one and enjoy your summer.